Okay folks, here's a quick guide to making a TV glitch effect in After Effects 2016. The effects that you're going to need are, I'll just zoom in a bit here, color balance, radial blur, wave warp, noise, Venetian blinds and box blur. This is a fairly quick tutorial so you might want to pause it occasionally just to make notes on the various settings that I've used. But eventually we're going to work towards a TV glitch that looks a little like this. So let's just start at the beginning point where there's no glitch and I'm going to open color balance and I set my saturation as you can see here to zero. As it works its way up to the glitch I put the saturation up to 30 and then as it works its way down to the end of the glitch saturation goes back to zero. Next is the radial blur. So at the beginning of the glitch I have the radial blur on zero. At the height of the glitch radial blur on 10 and then at the end of the glitch back to zero. So the wave warp, a few more details in here. So again let's go back to the start of the glitch. On the wave warp Whoops, let's just get it teed up. Thank you. So on the wave warp, I had the height at zero, width at one, and the wave speed at zero. At the height of the glitch, I've got what are my settings here? Height 79, width 100, wave speed minus 0 0.1. And you're probably getting the idea of this now. When we get to the end of the glitch, they've all been put back into their earlier state. Oh, and the wave type I went for was smooth noise. Then added some noise. So at the beginning, noise set to zero. At the height of the glitch, we've got noise set to 20. And then, you guessed it, when we get to the end of the glitch, noise goes back to zero. Then Venetian blinds, probably this is, like the warp, this is probably the one that you might want to play with the most. Probably the Venetian blinds and the warp are the one that can have the biggest impact. So on the Venetian blinds, transition completion on zero, width on one. Then at the height of the glitch, I've got, let's see, I think I may have added a keyframe by accident, so let's just go forward a bit. Yeah, so at the height of the glitch, transition completion I put on 15, and the width on 54 and I had a constant feather all the way through without keyframing of 34. Then as we get to the end of the glitch, whoops, let's just tee that up, and then at the end of the glitch back down to 0, 1 and the feather was always at 34. Oh and I had a constant direction of 90. Then finally a box blur and on the box blur um, Blur radius was at zero, and then four, and then back down to zero. Iterations at one, blur dimensions horizontal. Now all of these settings are simply ones that I've added. It goes without saying that all of these settings will probably change and alter depending on the nature of the footage you've got and the colors you've got. So feel free to sort of play with them as you work your way through your own technique. Okay, thanks for listening folks. Let me just close those up. Um, just to recap then, color balance, radial blur, wave warp, noise, Venetian blinds and box blur, adjust according to taste. Thanks a lot, see you in the next tutorial.